Hey, what's up everybody? Brian from T-Sport Line. Thanks again for tuning in for more Cybertruck fun. You know, the Cybertruck has power outlets in the back seat and in the bed of the truck. You got two 110s and a 240 back here. But what exactly can you use that for? If you're out tailgating, you're in the woods camping, or maybe you're a contractor, or maybe you just want to, you just want to charge another car. Today, we're going to test all three scenarios. Let's find the limits of what you can actually do with this power. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is turn on the power in the cab. When we come in here, you can go down to outlets and mods, and you got a couple options here. The power feeds, those are auxiliary power for roof lights or if you wire anything into the front. We're not gonna mess with that today. We're gonna go back here to outlets. You've got a switch and it's gonna read the power outlet or what's being drawn from all those outlets combined, shown here on the screen. And then that takes care of the 110 outlet that's in the cab, in the front seat, in the back seat, and then everything in the bed of the truck. Now Tesla tells us you can manage 40 amp draw total across all the outlets. So that's a little under 10 kilowatts, that's 9,600 watts. Let's go ahead and start in the back and see what we can do. The weekend tailgater, if you're camping, you're out on an adventure, you got all this gear. Okay, nacho cheese dip, got our microwave. We've got lighting for the campsite, tailgating, and a margarita machine requirement for tailgating, and then Ninja. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and our iPad for watching the game doing whatever. We've got six things back here. Now the truck has two 110 outlets back here and then one 240 outlet. To run all this stuff, we need to convert that 240 outlet to a couple of 110 outlets. Now we've got T-Sport Line's power adapter here. Let's plug this thing in. This is gonna go from a 1450 plug and break it down into four 110 outlets. You're gonna take and plug this in. and then you end up with four more outlets. Now I've got the crock pot plugged in. I've got the iPad charging. Let's go ahead and plug in the microwave. And we've got the Ninja margarita machine. And finally our lighting. So all six things are plugged in. Let's put the light up for now. Turn on our crock pot on high. We got the margarita machine. We got the blender. One frozen burrito coming up. All right, I'm gonna kick all this stuff on and then we're gonna run around to the front and see what kind of power we're drawing just to give you a worst case scenario. Not too bad, 2.2 kilowatts. We got plenty of room up to our maximum. I would say this is a total success for the tailgater. You're nowhere near the 10 kilowatt power limit. All right, let's move on to the contractor. We've got our contractor set up here. Let's go through. We've got a plasma torch right here. This is 240 volts, plugging in with the 1450 240. Then we've got a heat gun over here. This is just a high amperage draw tool and the air compressor down there, that'll plug into the 110. I'm gonna plug everything in. We'll get a full load on this and then we'll cut some steel. It's gonna be a little loud, let's do it. First, we've got the plasma torch plugged in. We've got the heat gun set up to max. Let me get ready for the torch. Plugging in the compressor now. Let's cut some steel.
Well, it looks like we it looks like we found the limit. I guess that's the limit. Let's try it again and see if this keeps going. All right, so I think we've successfully, we found the limit here. So it looks like we found the limit on hitting 10, kilow or 10 kilowatts and we see that there's a circuit breaker set up. It's pretty cool. Let's keep the test going, but this time I'm gonna have the cameraman go up to the screen. Let's bring in Ellie, take a look at the screen up there and see what happens, what the readout is when it, when it actually maxes out. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on that output. Let me know when you have that focused. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go cut. Six point four it shut off. Interesting. Yeah. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be ten kilowatts. We'll do it one more time. That's as far as we got with the cut, guys. So you got six point four, six point seven. Okay, interesting. Let's go ahead. We know that this is going to cut off at a little over five kilowatts, so 6.4, 6.7. Let's set up for the charger with the Tesla and see if we can get closer to that 10 kilowatt max. All right, let's do it. We found the limit with the contractor gear when we were plasma cutting a little over six, something under seven kilowatts. Now we're going to try charging. We can get 32 amps. This is gonna be a little over seven kilowatts. So let's see if we can get this over seven kilowatts and find the limit. We've got the Tesla charger. We're plugged into the 240 outlet here. And we have a little special edition. This is a signature series Model X. This is actually serial number 007. So a quick aside, pretty cool to have a 2016, one of the original Model X's right next to one of the first 10 cyber trucks. We're plugged in charging, come around, let's see what kind of power we're drawing on this now. Right now we're charging the Model X and we've had this running for about 20 minutes and we're at 7.1 kilowatts, which is right on the money for a 32 amp charger back there. We've got 32 amps, 240 volts, it's about 7.2 kilowatts. So we're not gonna hit 10 kilowatts. But what was interesting is when we were running the welding equipment and the contractor equipment, we were, we were tripping the breaker at less than seven kilowatts. So something around six and a half ish. Tesla says the limit is 10, but we're gonna test it today up to 7.2. We need more power. I've got an idea. Let's go plug in the heat guns in the back and see how much higher we can go before we trip the breaker again. Two heat guns. I'm gonna plug them into the 110 outlets and we still have the Tesla charging. We were at 7.2. Let's turn both of these on. Come around the back or the front, let's check it out. I've got 9.3. Okay, it tripped at 9.3. Reset. So I'm gonna turn one heat gun off now. So what we got there was a, a short term 9.3 kilowatt before it tripped, but it wasn't really sustainable. Right now the charger's coming back up. We're at 6.9, I've got one heat gun on. This should go maybe around eight. Okay, we're at eight. So this is charging, 32 amp charger plus our heat gun. We're holding at 8.4 kilowatts. We'll give this a minute or two and see if this trips the breaker. 
it looks like we can hold eight kilowatts at least for a minute or so sustained. I'm gonna go turn on the second heat gun. You stay up here and watch the output and let's see where it trips. Second heat gun is activated. 9.1. 9.1. And we can reset that. It'll slowly kick back on, but I'm just gonna turn it on. We turn it off. We know what's going on. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for our power testing. Hope you enjoyed this and learned something about the Cybertruck and the power outlets. Make sure you like the video. Drop a comment below if there's something else you want us to test. Subscribe to the channel and come back soon. We got a lot more Cybertruck content coming your way.